what is going on and welcome back to what shall we do next i'm mike your host and i hope you guys are having the best day ever before i get started guys if you are new here please subscribe if you haven't already done that we're on the road to 60 whoa 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 hold on just a second we're on the road to 70 thousand subscribers so if you're new here hit subscribe and join the fam and also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description i have facebook twitter instagram and even snapchat so go follow me on all of those wow i am tired today i just can't motivate myself at all i've been awake since like 5 a.m and i'm tired guys i wasn't i didn't even want to do this video but i'm so tired like i don't know what so yeah you're, you guys are just gonna have to excuse me on this one but I will do my best to entertain you guys. So, what are we doing today then, huh? What are we doing today? I'm just kidding, I already know what, we, what we're gonna be doing today. <sighs> so once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, and today, we are looking at another scary story. And this scary story is called daughter's birthday so the reason i am telling you guys this story is because honestly it confused me i didn't understand the end of it so you guys are gonna find out but i want you guys to let me know what you guys think of the end of this story because it didn't make much sense to me um i'm not sure exactly what happened but maybe you guys can figure it out and if you do let me know so the story of the daughter's birthday is about a woman who was in a small town. This woman was standing by the side of a road holding a bouquet of flowers, nervously fingering the hem of her dress. When a taxi came along, she hailed down the taxi and got in the car. As soon as she got in the taxi, she said to the taxi driver, hurry, be quick, I'm late. The taxi driver just looked at her really confused and was like, oh, sure. You, what, you're meeting someone? The lady then replied, yes, my daughter, it's her birthday today. She's 25 years old today. She's waiting to meet me at 3 p.m. Well, it's already 10 minutes to three now, said the taxi driver. I guess I better be fast if we're gonna make it on time. Where is it we're going? The woman then replied, North Cemetery, please. She was staring at the taxi driver and her eyes started to fill up with water like she was ready to cry. The taxi driver glanced back at her in surprise but didn't say anything to her. He was just like, okay, this woman's obviously upset about something. The woman, almost in tears, said, you know my daughter, she left me a month ago. And yesterday she called me and said, if I really miss her, I should meet her on her birthday at 3 p.m. The taxi driver looked at her again and she had this nervous, trembling smile on her face and she said, she's, she's waiting for me. Ugh, creepy, I know. Then, the taxi driver had to slow down the car almost completely to a stop because there was a traffic jam and uh, none of the cars were moving. It's okay, we're near enough. I, I can make it on foot from here said the woman. She then paid the taxi driver, got out of the car, and started to hurry towards the cemetery. The driver of the taxi was watching her curiously when he noticed her disappear around the corner, and then he was just sitting there waiting in the traffic jam until eventually the cars did start to move again. But once the car started to go, and he drove past the cemetery, he noticed a familiar bouquet of flowers all over the road. There had been a terrible accident on the road. Mm -hmm. I think you guys can see where this is going. A woman had been hit and killed by a car. It was the same woman that was in the taxi with the taxi driver. The driver, in shock, looked at the clock and it was exactly 3 p.m. And that is the end of the story. Now, I don't know about you guys, but honestly, I knew when, like, she was going to the cemetery, she had a bouquet of flowers, she was talking about having a daughter who's, like, 25, and she left her a month ago. As soon as I read that part, I knew she was going to the cemetery, I knew her daughter was dead at that point in the story, but I thought it was gonna be something like, this woman's completely lost it, she thinks her daughter's still around, maybe she's talking to the ghost. I did not see the ending coming, like... She got hit and killed by a car at 3 p.m. on her daughter's birthday. Now, that threw me off. Like, I'm confused. Do any of you guys understand the ending of that story? Because I don't. But if you do, 
my question to all of you guys for question of the day is what the heck happened because I don't know so you guys let me know in the comment section that is question of the day but thank you guys so much for watching once again thank you all so much for all the love and support we're on the road to 70,000 subscribers so let's see if we can do that before Christmas that would be insane I don't think we'll do it maybe before New Year's yeah New Year's let's go for 70,000 before New Year's so if you guys could do me a big favor and like go and find your favorite video of mine and just share it on your Facebook share it on your Twitter Instagram whatever you have social media um, ask your friends to watch it ask your friends your family get them to subscribe and let's see if we can get to 70,000 subscribers before New Year's that would be insane but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that like button down below and let's see if we can go for 11 billion likes on this video I would really appreciate that and remember the most important thing of all guys chase your dreams I love you all